You okay? What? Why are you sitting out here? What did you do? What did you do? So what do you think, Gav? Man, I totally look there. She's gonna build this for us when you're done with school? No way. Making big money? No, sir. <laughs> Architects, we just designed the building. No manual labor for these hands. These things are staying clean. Okay. Hey, what's up? That is a fireplace. In the bathroom? Dude, it's the master bathroom. This is where someone's gonna spend their most private and intimate moments. So who wouldn't wanna a crackling fire by their squeezing one out. <laughs> okay, well, if you're gonna put one in there, you gotta put one. <laughs> Shoot, I'm sorry, Troy. What the hell, Gav? What? Let me, um, I'm gonna get some paper towels. Did, <laughs> did you do that on purpose? What? Of course not, bro. You hate it. Hate no, you hate it. You hate, it. you hate it. You hate it. Stop! Just move, get away. Just... Trev, it's just a drawing. It's not just a drawing, Gav. It's not, not just a drawing. It's not just a drawing, Gav. It's not just a drawing. It's not just a drawing. It's more. Gav, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, Gavin. Gavin, I'm sorry. You packed? Okay, good. I want to get on the road in 20. How is he, Mom? Mom, please. How is he? 21 stitches, Trevor. 21. The police come and talk to him? Yeah. Well, he told them he was jumped by a couple of guys. He lied? Why? Because he loves you, Trev. And he knew that you would lose your scholarship. Doesn't matter. I'm not going back to that place anyway. Like hell you're not. You have one year left. We have come too far for you to turn back now. Listen, this is going to be good for you, okay? 30 days with Dr. Well. Hold on, 30 days? You said a week. Well, I lied too. Baby, this is it, okay? You gotta face it, this is your last shot. I'm not always gonna be here to bail you out. You're strong, you gotta confront it. No more denial. Can we get some food or something? I'm really hungry.
Oh, we gotta go back. They put egg on my sandwich. Mom already wrote you. No, Mom, we gotta go back, Ma. I, I, I can't just take it off. Mom, it's egg. I, I hate Trevor, egg. I hate the I smell. It's not good. Mom, not it's not that. This Mom, it's just back there. Mom, can we do it? Mom, it's just back there. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. Hey, what's up, bro? You the man of the house? Yeah? My name is Trevor. What's yours? I'm Alton. Alton? You a uh, handshake or fist bump guy? Good choice, good choice. Is your dad home? Yeah? Oh, rest your shoes, please. All right, my apologies. <clears throat> Book bag? Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> nice. Nice place you got here. Thank you. Like a modern take on a traditional farmhouse. Transitional furniture. Looks good. Well, okay, Mr. Showoff. <laughs> you know, your mother did tell me that you were an architecture student. Uh, you're not about that life. <laughs> so, um, uh, here's the kitchen. Uh, you can get anything you want out of the refrigerator and anything in the cabinet you can help yourself to. Except for that bottom right cabinet. That's where Cynthia keeps all of her snacks. And it's all healthy stuff. I don't think you want that anyway. Well, listen, Doc. Um, don't call me Doc. Call me Robert. All right? At least while we're here at the house. When we're in session, you can call me Doc. Sure. Uh, Robert, listen, mm -hmm. how much is this going to cost my mom? Oh, Trevor. Look, right now, your well-being is the most important thing, yeah? So, family, home, um, money, school, all that stuff can wait. Uh, the most important thing is you. It's all about you right now and what's in here, okay? Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. I just, I don't feel right about being a burden or more of a burden yeah. with all this, so. Well, you can rest easy knowing that it's not gonna cost your mother a thing. How's that? You doing this pro bono? <laughs> Out of the mm -mm. kindness of your heart? Mm -mm. I said it's not gonna cost her anything. With what money? I mean, Google broke college student, I'm, <laughs> I'm right there. First result, I, I don't have anything to give you. This is... <laughs> you got jokes. Look, I don't want your money. Come on, follow me, I got something to show you. Get your shoes. I'm hungry, okay. come on. Hey, is some over here? You, you know what? <laughs> y'all act like y'all haven't eaten in weeks. Y'all act like I don't feed you. Yeah, why y'all acting like I don't feed you? Here you go. Y'all greedy. Just greedy. Hey, baby. You out there getting these eggs from your chicken? <laughs> you know I'm gonna get my eggs, and I'm not sharing since you think it's so funny. Oh, yeah. Look, this is Trevor. Trevor, this is my wife, Cynthia. Oh, please meet you, Trevor. Hey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show him uh, the guest house. Oh, okay. Then afterwards, we can have some lunch and get mm -hmm. to know each other a little better. Uh, Cynthia is a biologist. She's doing some amazing research on aerobic bacteria as it accelerates growth in urban flora. Mm, something like that. Yeah, I got it right this time. Right, uh, right. <laughs> All kind of sounds like Greek to me, but... Yeah, me too, but she makes a lot of money, so... Right, exactly. <laughs> See you in a minute, baby. See you inside. Come here, yeah, I, I know you want more. So, this is our guest house. Or, <laughs> at least it will be. And this is where you'd be staying while you're here. And you'd have to do all this, Doc. You could have just thrown out a bale of hay and that would have been good. <laughs> well, this is also where you'd be working while you're here. Hey, working? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's gotta be some miscommunication. I don't actually know 
construction? I mean, I know it in theory, but not in practice. Well, it's really pretty simple. I mean, electrical and plumbing has already been done, yeah? So all you have to do is tack up some insulation, then drywall, spackle and paint. I mean, it's really pretty simple. I'm sure you can find something on YouTube to help you out. I get it. You get my free labor. And you get mine, yeah? So now the timing of your session is gonna be a little varied because I'm fitting you in in between patients. But you can call up one of those app card things and um, it'll bring you right to the office. Your office? Mm hmm Oh, I thought we were doing this thing here. <laughs> Well, I would rather keep the two aspects of our relationship separate. When you're in my home, you're my guest. And when you're in my office, you're my patient. Cool? Yeah, totally. Uh, that way you can take responsibility for your own schedule. And understand, you're here, but you can come to the house anytime you want to. Sure. Yeah, I respect that. That's okay. cool. Cool. All right. Well, hey, Doc. Or yeah. Robert. Um, <laughs> can I ask you something? Sure. All this is, is because of what I did. I'm not, I'm not following you. Well, you know, it, I, I hurt someone. It's just like to keep me separate from your family so you guys are safe. Or... No, not at all. Come on. It's just a matter of convenience, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So get yourself settled in and then come up to the house and have some lunch. Huh? Okay. Oh. We're glad you're here. Yeah. yeah. All right, see you in a minute. So palms can't go forward to capture, but they can go diagonal to capture. That's cool. And rooks can go all the way forward. Hey, buddy. You playing by yourself? Mm, yeah. You mind if I join you? Okay, but I'm not so good. Oh, that's okay. I'm not good either. But teach me what you know. Um, this piece, I was just talking about how it can go all the way forward, but it can't go diagonal. <laughs> See, my brother gives me like that every time. You have a brother? Yeah. Is he like, like, little like me? Um, no. no. He's an adult now. He's a grown up. But between you and me, he's kind of a pain in the butt. I wish I had a little brother. And you said, but. <laughs> yeah. I wish um, I had a little brother. Yeah, uh, show me something else. Well, these two are the queen and king, and they're lovebirds. They, the queen is the most powerful piece in the game, because it can go f like the rook, forward, backwards, and sideways, and more, and diagonal, just like this piece right here, which is named the bishop. And the king is the most important piece in the game. I think Can't forget these. <laughs> Do you remember why? And the monsters cannot get in my drink. That's right. You wear these so the monsters can't come through your ears and give you nightmares. <laughs> Good night.
over there showing off. Uh huh. You know how we do, baby. Uh, you showing off for me. Oh, for my queen. My queen. Yes. <laughs> well, good morning. How'd you sleep? Uh, it was okay. It smells really good in here. That would be my world famous grapes. <laughs> Usually, when someone says world famous, it doesn't taste that good. <laughs> Tonight. It's like those singers on American Idol who swear by their voices, but they sound like trash. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you know, Robert spent a year in France after college. I mm. guess it left quite huh. the impression, even after all these years. Oh, that's right, baby. That's how you defend your pop, baby. <laughs> yeah. I was looking into some renovation stuff, um, and I think you may need some more parts, so I was going to go to the hardware store after oh. we ate, if that's... Taking some initiative. I like that. I'll tell you what, after we finish breakfast, uh, we can jump in the SUV and head on over, huh? Well, I mean, I was thinking I could go alone. I could take it. Are you I'm sure? Sorry. Yeah. Drive my car. It, Robert, really? Um, <laughs> got you. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You can take the car. Cool. Uh, after, uh, try your world famous crate. Are you sure you want to try them? You done talked about them. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully it's good. That's your you thing. Hopefully, you. don't mess up. Don't, don't mess up. Okay. You know, he's a boy. He's a man. Breathe. Let me know that I'm alive. I've been up all night. I should be asleep, but there was so much on my mind. See, I want to fly away. Somewhere in the sky But here I am in these four walls And I just begin to cry Cause I feel like a kid having a bad dream Please protect me from the Monsters under my bed And they keep messing with my head And I swear I hate them Hey Hazel, I know that I'm late, but can I just go right back? Yeah, go ahead in. He's waiting. Hey, so sorry I'm late. <laughs> Trevor. So what happened? Oh, it was a rough morning. <laughs> what, your alarm didn't go off in time or something? No, it was more like I was uh, having some trouble getting motivated. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've all been there. Um, well, we don't have much time left. I got another session in a few minutes, so. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, we can do it another time. <sighs> no worries, no worries. Look, I, I can see you're really trying, huh? Um, but even with the little bit of time we have left, I think there's something we need to discuss, yeah? So I'm gonna put my serious doctor face on for a minute. Okay. So this is what, our fourth session? Well, it would have been our fourth if I was on time. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna talk to you about something we've been kind of dancing around for a minute. Uh, given my assessment of you and your history, I'm diagnosing you with bipolar disorder. And I just want to let you know, so you can take the worry off your mind. I know it's been stressing you out a little bit. So you're saying that because I lose my temper and I have random passionate moments, that I'm crazy? Trevor, come on, come on now. No, we got, wait, wait, wait. We've been over this, huh? There's nothing to do with being crazy. There's a lot of things that could factor into this. Most likely it's just some kind of chemical imbalance. And everybody has some kind of imbalance. But so, the, uh, wait, wait, so to use your words, use your words, everybody's got a little crazy in them. Doc, I... Look, Trevor, 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 look at me. Look at me, it's just science, man. It doesn't make you a bad person. No, it, it, it doesn't wait. make you a bad person. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Don't tell on me, okay? What? I'm not supposed to be smoking. I can mess with my meds. What are okay. you doing? Just waiting for my ride. Well, you must have gotten some bad news. You were in there for like two minutes. I don't want to talk about it. Fine. So what kind of meds they put you on? I, I'm here for counseling. I'm not, no one's put me on meds. Nuh-uh. If that was true, you'd just see a regular shrink. If you're seeing Walden, they're putting you on meds. They'll keep telling you that you're not crazy, that it's just science. But if that was true, let me ask you something. Why do they still call those drugs antipsychotics? Sam, what have we told you? Sam, you should not be smoking. Busted. <laughs> Hurry in, the doctor's waiting. See you later. Come in. It's your barn. Oh, looking pretty good, man. So dinner's almost ready. I'm actually not hungry, but thank you. Yeah, well, that's understandable. Uh, look, I brought you something. Uh, you ran out so quick today, I didn't get a chance to give them to you before you left. Hey, pills? Mm -hmm. These antipsychotics? Ah, uh, we don't call them that anymore. It's more like, uh, like a mood stabilizer. Look, Trevor, I, I know this is a lot to take in. But if we're gonna be honest, you don't really handle your episodes very well. What do they do? Even things out a bit, that's it. And if you find yourself too much on one side or the other, then we let me know and we can adjust your medication. I mean, I'd rather not if there's a different option or something else we could do other than this. I am afraid that this is a non-negotiable. Look, I know you don't like talking about it, but you had that incident with your brother, yeah? And you're here all day with my wife and my child, so I'm gonna need you to take the medicine. And I'm gonna need you to stay the course. And if you refuse, then you're gonna have to go home. Trevor. Trevor, did you hear what I said? Yeah. Okay. Um, your condition is manageable, but you have to manage it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And, um, you should just come on down to dinner anyway. You don't have to eat, but I think it'd be good for you to be around people. Yeah. Okay. See you in a minute. Believe in the process, you want it to work. You believe in the process, you want it to work. You want it to work. You believe in the process, you want it to work. You believe in the process, you want it to work. You believe in the process, you want it to work. I'm gonna go to sleep, okay? Okay. Good night, sweetie. Mmm, sweet dreams. Oh, we can't forget these. <laughs> Do you remember why? I'm not mosquito in my dream. 
Yeah. That's right. You wear these so the monsters can't come through your ears and give you nightmares. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a quick call before I head to work. How you doing? Good. I'm good. You don't sound so good. Everything's fine. I'm good. So how is it going with Dr. Wilden? It's good. All good. Are you going to say good every time I ask you a question? Hmm? Huh? You do realize I talk to him too. How have you... If you know, why are you asking? Listen, there's no reason to be snippy. Just want to hear from you. I want to know how you're doing. You realize there's nothing to be ashamed of, right? Yeah, I know. So are you taking the meds that he gave you? Yeah. Why are they helping? Trevor, listen to me. I believe in you. And I know that you can handle this. All right? You're young, you're capable, you're smart. You can do it. What if that's not enough, Mom? I gotta, I gotta go to work, okay? But you keep doing what you're doing. Love you. I'll give you a call tomorrow. I love you. Trevor. 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 Hmm? What? 
<laughs> Where'd you go just now? Sorry, I guess I spaced. Hmm. Well, I was asking you if there was something on your mind. That's the time, isn't it? Well, yeah, but if there was something else you wanted to talk about, we can go over a few minutes. I mean, it looks like oh. there's something on your mind. No, we're good. Can I just see you back at the house? Okay. Jeez, man, you scared me. I thought you were Hazel. Sam, right? Yep. And you're Trevor? Yeah. How'd you... Hazel it? told me. Said that I shouldn't talk to you. I'm a bad influence. <sighs> My car will be here in a minute. Hey, you were right, by the way. You did put me on the meds. How's that going for you? <laughs> Can I ask you something? Shoot. How long am I gonna feel like this? Depends on what you mean. For me, the dizziness went away pretty quick. Headaches come and go. Diarrhea, though. No, I mean, this fuzzy feeling in my head like everything's turned down, how long is that? Like you're never really fully awake? Yeah. Doesn't really go away. Just kind of get used to it. No, it's not. They, they can't expect us to live like this. What's your diagnosis? Bipolar. Well, some people get over it eventually. Really? Yeah, like 30 or 40 years. In 30 or 40 years, it's... Bullshit? Yeah, <laughs> it is, I mean... I mean, how am I supposed to be creative if I feel like this? I, I used to like who I was, and... Now I don't even know who I am anymore. Preach it. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now, Trevor, tell me. How does it make you feel? Felt good. If it's the first time I've ever felt anything since I started taking these stupid pills, you know? Crazy idea. You want to get out of here, go do something? I can ditch out of my session. I got to work. Rain check? Sure. Yeah, I don't know when, but we can figure something yeah, out. Yeah, we're be... both here. <laughs> sure. Sam. You're late. Come on. Dr. Weldon's waiting. Yes, Miss Hazel. Next time. See ya. Trevor, can I come in? Trevor, you didn't come down to breakfast. Look, Trevor, you know you can talk to me, right? Anything that's on your mind, you can really- Just go away, please.
I know what you're going through. I also know you don't want to talk, and that's okay. You don't have to. But I'm going to talk for a while, if that's okay. Right now, you're feeling worthless. You feel tired, you feel guilty. You don't have an appetite. You just want to sleep. But you can't because your brain won't let any of it shut off. I don't know if this is your first or your worst, but What you're going through is a depressive episode. Sometimes it's minor. A little more than sadness or despair on a normal day. Or sometimes it's like this. <sighs> Nine years ago, I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder. I was exactly like you for weeks. Eventually, I tried to do something about it. I was sent to Robert. And that's how I found out there was help. Trevor, I need you to listen to me. You have two choices. You can either lay here and wallow in it and let it consume you, or you could do something about it, and you can do something about it. It takes time to come to terms with it. But in the meantime, Robert wants to adjust your medication. You're still adjusting to it, so it's gonna take some trial and error to get the right balance. Does it ever get easier, living like this? I'm not gonna lie to you. It never gets easy. But it does get manageable. Once you get control of it and no longer has control of you, you'll, you realize just how much you're capable of. Hey, Mom, you gotta take this out. You you have to take it out. Are you sure you want yep. me to open this? You, yep. You, you don't want to open it. Yeah, come on. Let's okay. just. Okay. It's a lot of papers. <laughs> Is it bad? Is it? Trevor, you got a 3.9. I did? I did? Seriously? <laughs> This is... Come here. Oh, okay. Man, you are a genius. What are you, what are you, where are you going? Why are you a genius like it, Mom? I want to put this in the fridge. No, Mom, oh, don't do that. Don't be, don't be that kind of Mom. I want everybody to see it when they come here. No, don't... Mom, don't be that I'm kind of Mom. I'm not listening to you. You don't have to put it on the fridge. No. No, it's not Turn good, Mom. Mom, off. can we please just go back? Mom, it's just back! 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 Mom, it's just
It's just back there. I'm I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't. No, 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 sir. The only time I ever let you win is if I let you win. That's the only time I ever happened. So, I don't know if finish line's coming up. You're lying on your ass, right? Finish line's... Wait, where are you again? Where are you? Come on, are you man. Nah. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Sit down. Right. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Let's run it back. The game's let's, no, let's play it. You didn't actually win because of lack of skill. There is a glitch in the game. There is a glitch in the game. Let's, let's run it back. Let's do it again. I don't need to trade controllers with you, man. Let's, let's play. You just need to let's let's do this again because you cheated. Something happened. You didn't you didn't win because you're good. You win because I let you. All right. Let's, you can shut up. That's what you can do. Let's just play this game again. That's let's let's go back. Run it back. It's just a drawing. It's not just a drawing, Dad! No, it's not just a drawing! It's not just a drawing, Dad! It's not just a drawing! It's not just a drawing! It's more... <laughs> Gavin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I, Gavin, Gavin, I'm sorry. Come on, Trevor. Pick up the pace, you're too slow. We got about a mile to go. Hey, Trev. Gavin? Hey, what's up? Mom is in the shower. Um, how's it going? Good. Uh, things are um, okay. I'm feeling better. Listen, Gav. Um, I wanted to say that I'm really... Okay, Trev, whatever it is you feel like you have to say, maybe it can wait until you come home. You know, it just feels kind of weird doing it over the phone, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a couple days ago, I was thinking about that World Rally 3 game we played, and how you beat me for the first time ever. Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah. Maybe we can play again sometime, rematch? Sure. Sure. I'm going to have uh, mom call you back when she gets out, all right? Yeah. OK. Trevor, I am sorry I was in the shower. How you doing? Hey, Mom. Um, I'm good. Just a little tired. Went on a jog with Robert. Oh, so it's Robert now. OK. Yeah, well, he prefers Dr. Weldon when we are in session. Okay, well, it sounds like you guys are getting along well. Yeah. Hey, I had a question. How did you guys meet again? Honey, I told you he's an old friend of the family. Yeah, but, yeah, Mama, how do you know him? Like, where did you meet? I mean, where did the interaction, where, I don't understand. You know, I'm not sure I actually remember how we met. Um, 
Uh, probably at a party or something. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See your friend of dad? You know, um, now that you mention it, uh, yeah, I think he was a friend of your dad's. Yeah, I, I think they went to college together. E honey, that was so long ago. Okay. I, I'm sure Robert doesn't remember. Hey, look, I gotta go shower, so um, I'll talk to you later. All right, love you. Oh, I'm really glad you're feeling better, Trevor. I am. Thanks. So, do you think you feel like talking about the incident with your brother? No. No, 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 no. So why do you think you're avoiding that, I'm, Trevor? I'm, I'm not avoiding it. Okay, I think about it constantly. When it happened, I was barely aware of what was going on. I have this vivid dream and memory in my mind. It's like I was somebody else, so... I, I don't want to talk about it, please. Fine. So, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I hear the Braves won four in a row. You know that? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not much of a baseball guy. Okay. Um. Actually, I do have a question though for you. My mom says you were an old friend of the family, but she can't remember how you met. Do you remember how you met? <laughs> um, no, I can't seem to recall it either. So you can remember how to make crepes from scratch from college, but you can't remember how you met my parents? Really? <laughs> okay, you're gonna make me look for it. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I think I met your mother at a clinical trial for a new drug. She was there for the hospital, and uh, we chatted and hit it off and became friends. And then she just introduced you to my dad, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. You want to talk about your father, Trevor? Is that why you're asking me all of this? No, there's not much to talk about. I'm good. Are you sure? I mean, just say what's on your mind. Whatever you're thinking. Uh, okay, sure. He died when I was five. There's nothing really much to remember. I mean, he was funny. He was kind. Mm -hmm. There was something else. Drugs, I think. Why do you say that? My mom never talks about him with us. She just wants us to remember him the way that we want to. But I know that he was shot. But you already knew that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, listen, I, I got like 10 minutes left, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head out. Uh, I was pretty tired from that jog, so I'll just, uh, I'll see you next session. Okay, okay, fine, Thanks. Trevor. I'll see you back at the house. You all right? No, I'm pissed. Or at least I think I am. I can't tell with these stupid meds messing with my head. Hey. You want to get out of here? You want to go ditch and just let's do something? Hell yeah. yeah? Come on, I want to show you something. Okay, let's <laughs> go. I can't get out of here. Weldon. God, what? I can't. He's not telling the truth about something. He's lying to me, and I just all don't right, understand. All right, it's fine. Just where trust we, me. Where are we going? Yonder. All right, this, is good. this needs to be good, because I'm not much of a <laughs> nature adventure guy. Oh, you'll be fine. Promise not to kill you on your first try. Oh, thanks. That makes me feel very safe. All right, this way. Just so you know, I'm not attracted to you. What? I didn't bring you here to like make out or fool around. Yeah, I know that that's not what this is about. 
Good. All right. Out with it. What's got your panties in a wad? I just feel like I'm being lied to. Aren't we all? Are you a schizo? What? Well, if you're schizophrenic, you might only think you're being lied to. No, I'm Do not a schizo. Hear I don't hear head? voices. No, I'm not a schizo. I don't hear voices. Are you just one of those people that have no filter that says whatever comes to mind? Yeah, but that's not why I see Weldon. Then why? I have something called intermittent explosive disorder. Basically, it means I fly off the handle for no reason. A couple months ago, a coworker of mine told me I was talking too loud, and so I hit her with a chair. Not one of those foldy chairs, like in wrestling, but like a big chair with wheels. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. She pressed charges for assault, then I could have gotten jail time. But instead, I got probation. And well then. And a fistful of pills. Do they help? I haven't had an episode in a while, if that's what you mean. I just don't understand they expect us to live like this. I mean, every time I take those stupid pills, I feel less like myself, and they keep saying that it's, it's just an illness, it's not a part of me, it's not who I am, but it's in my head, isn't it? Which means it's a part of me. They want us numb. Because if we can feel, then it might come out. You know, is it cool to be an architect? I didn't. That's cool? Yeah, it is pretty cool. I used to draw these blueprints in houses when I was a kid. It was awesome. I would do like slides for stairs and... Uh, is that safe or... I like the sound. It calms me. It's okay, I'll, I'll walk. It's, it's right. fine. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was looking for, for Robert. Is it's he okay, around? Hey, Trevor. What's up? Well, I just wanted to run something by him, really. I think he said he'd be about an hour. Okay, well, I, I can just wait. No, come on. Come on. Okay, cross your legs, love it. No, because that's all you said. You don't have to do everything perfectly. This is your daily routine? Um, when I'm in the mood. Okay. okay. You know what? It's okay. Let's try something else. Cross your legs the best you can. You so trying to kill me? Uh, so mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Mm hmm Okay, let's sit and let's breathe in and out. Okay. In. And out. I don't understand what we're doing with this. Was You're also supposed to be silent. Silence is powerful. You was just. It's just sometimes best to just sit and be silent. What does the silence do for you, if you don't mind me asking? Sometimes. 
Sometimes I pray, I reflect. I redirect my thoughts if I'm feeling away. I just get to know how my mind works so that I can so that I can be intentional. You do this every day? No. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I get mad. Most times I just see clarity from God. But nothing exists outside this room. This right here is my outlet. The last couple of years, I just, I've been taking the holistic approach to my treatment. I'm not much of a holistic kind of guy. It's too trendy for me, no offense. I feel that. Everything is not for everybody, but you, you got to find something, some outlet. So burning incense and meditation is kind of your thing? It's not about that. It's about finding balance. It's about learning how your mind works. It's like I monitor my diet, I, I exercise, I, I've learned how to mold my environment. So there's other ways outside of the pills then? Chara, it's very important that you, that you try to stick to the path that Robert has you on. You're gonna learn yourself eventually and you can look into alternatives, but for now, just, for now, just stay the course. Trust the process. Of course I will, yeah. Thanks. Still lucky to be alive. I'm gonna head out. This is kinda tough, but good. Thanks, Cynthia. Thank you. <sighs> Everything is so hard. How can I live if I can't accept me? Now I'm turned apart And everyone is moving on without me How did I get so far? I wish that I could turn around and leave me <laughs> I'm guessing this is a part Of everything I've done coming back to me I'm pushing on Why do I seem so crazy? So baby, can we get that, um, that lobster thing you do? You know, you always ask for the lobster thing well, I do you know. <laughs> but can we get it though? Is the question. <laughs> I think it might be the worst time now. Okay, well, this was up. <laughs> Rise and grind, folks. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> Looks like somebody slept well. No, I did not sleep at all, but I am feeling great. You guys want me to make you breakfast? I mean, I can only make omelets, but they're really, really good omelets. I mean, amazing. Well, that's thoughtful. Uh, let me see what we got in here. Yeah. Let me see here. Okay. Got mushrooms. Yep, mushrooms are great. Yes. We need those. Peppers. Peppers are good. Peppers yes. are good. Okay. What else we got? We will need eggs. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some eggs. So, Trevor, how are you doing this morning? You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Yeah. Feeling really, really great. Yeah, well, Cynthia said there was something you wanted to talk to me about. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's not important. You want onions? Yes? Sure. Look at that. Yeah. We got onions right here. All right. So, we got to figure out. I need to know where the cutting board is, but don't tell me. I gotta get acclimated with the kitchen. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. It's all right. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. And we are gonna make some breakfast. No, 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 no. No help necessary. I'm gonna find this cutting board. Trevor! Some clips on the maybe. 
Trevor! <laughs> Trevor, we need to talk. Hey, Doc, you talk? I'm pushing. No, you need to stop, and Alton needs to go in the house. Oh, oh come on, just another couple of minutes. We're good. Trevor, stop I now. Oh, Coach, don't be such a buzzkill, Doc. That's too high. <laughs> Buddy, going in the house. Hey, well, look, I'm, I'm sorry. It was a, too hard of a push. He's you little, I forgot. You stopped taking your meds. No, I didn't. I count them. Oh, mutual trust, huh? Come on. You gonna stand here and lie in my face and talk about mutual trust? You had one rule here. One rule, and that was to follow your course of treatment. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm exploring different alternatives, Doc. Come on, now. Come on. It's good. It's cr I feel great. Cynthia has spent years managing her illness. She did the work, and she found a treatment that works for her. You have not. She you are experiencing a manic episode right now. <laughs> I'm not, what does Cynthia have to do with any of this? I'm, I'm great, I feel good, I'm not having an episode. I feel amazing, That's actually. what mania is, that's what it does, oh, it's a high. Doc. Most times you don't even realize you have it. Look, I, I, I know how I feel better than you do. I'm good. Do you? Yeah. When's yeah, the I'm last time you slept? Hmm? Hmm? <sighs> you did a week's worth of work in one um. night, look. Trevor, when you are like this, things can happen. Things that you don't mean to happen. Like what happened with no, your brother. No, 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 that, that, that was different. That was, that was different, that was different. Trevor. It was different. Calm down. <laughs> you, you, you think you know everything? You don't know anything. I would know this is, this is my, my brain. Okay, this is my body, this is Trevor. me, this is Trevor. not. You broke my trust and I cannot have you around my family when you are like this. What are you even, you, what are you doing? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know anything here. Trevor. This is my brain. This is my body. Trevor. This is my mind. This is my body. You don't get to tell me what to do. You have broken my trust. And I cannot have you around my family like this. So if you are not going to follow my instructions, you have to leave my <laughs> house. You want me to leave? You just want me to go? You don't want me in here? You, you think I'm dangerous or something? Like my mom, my brother? Uh, Trevor, it's not... this is not about what I think. No. It's about what no, I fine, know. fine, fine, fine. I'll go, I'll go. That what you want? You want me Trevor. to leave? No, I'm gonna, I'm gone. I'm gone, Doc. I'm gone. See you. Hey, you. Baby, he's gone. Gone? Yeah, Trevor's gone. Gone where? I, I, I don't know. Like, he blew up, I blew up, and then he left. Uh... This is my second time failing this family. I, I don't know how to help somebody who does not want to be helped. Hey, you can't think like that. It's not that he doesn't want help. Listen, baby, this is all brand new to him. He don't even understand. Now, hasn't he made all your appointments? Uh, yeah. Mm hmm And he should be damn near done with that barn. Oh, he finished that last <laughs> night. Thought, oh, okay, so he's trying. Well, no, he on that manic side right now. Listen, you and I both know that it's still up to him to do the work. Not you. Got me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I guess if he's serious, he'll come back, huh? You guess. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Give me some sugar. Mm. Mwah. Ooh, I'm gonna give me another one. Ah, you like that? Yeah, I do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Make things better, don't you? Come uh, on, you what you doing over here? Coloring, my favorite thing to do. Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> Hey, Mom. No, it's me. Gavin? Yeah, I didn't think you'd answer for anyone but Mom. Dude, where are you? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I left, and I don't, I don't know. Okay, well, listen. 
Um, Dr. Weldon just called mom to tell her what happened, but she left her phone at home, so he told me. Trev, don't, don't be an idiot. An idiot? Kevin, you have no idea what you're talking about, bro. You have no idea what this is like, bro. Can you just shut up and listen to me? For one second? When dad died, I was too young to remember him, right? Like I got little memories, barely fragments, and to be honest, I don't even know if they're real or not. Okay, the point is, I didn't have him around to look up to. I had you. When I was a kid, I would look at you and it was like, <laughs> man, you could do anything. Remember that um, stupid racing game that you brought up the other day at the time that I beat you? Yeah, I was thinking about that too because that was honestly one of the first times that I felt myself becoming more like you. I guess that's all that I really wanted. Just to be more like Trev. But not now. Oh, not anymore. Because you're letting this thing beat you. You're giving up. It's not that easy, Gavin. It's not some game or an exam that I can just beat or pass. This is something I have to manage for the rest of my life. The rest of my life. So what? Are you saying that you're not strong enough? You're just gonna let this thing be? No, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to be strong. I'm trying to be strong for you. I'm trying to be strong for mom. I'm trying. That's the thing, it's not for mom. Or for me, or for anybody else. You gotta do this for you. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Damn it, yeah, but you, um, you really wanted to, to be like me? Still do. I want to be like the old you, real you. <laughs> You're not going to tell mom on me, are you? That depends. What are you going to do now? First, I got to figure out where the hell I am. Hey, Robbie, it's Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, Gavin. Gavin told me you called. I am sorry. Yeah, I I'm sorry that I put you in this position. Uh, no, no, don't worry about it. It's not your fault. You know, he was... He was doing well, Rachel. He really was. Well, maybe I should come and see him. Do you think that would help? <laughs> I don't know where he is. Well... <laughs> He hasn't called me yet, so I don't think he's coming home. <laughs> Who knows, he might be trying to call your bluff. <laughs> yeah, well, he did that all right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, 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 I, I think it'd be good for you to come and visit. All right. Well, work is a little hectic now, but within the next few days, I'll make my way down there. All right, well, hit me up when you're on the way, and uh, it'll be good to see you, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Bye-bye. So are you ready? Yeah, um, I just, I wanted to say that I was sorry for betraying your trust. Trevor, Trevor, look, it's, it's, it's not me you gotta worry about. 
You betrayed yourself. Hmm? So I'll ask you again. Are you ready? Because I can't get my time back and neither can you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Heard you quit. Whatever happened to doctor patient confidentiality? I don't think that applies if you're not a patient anymore. Fair. My brother guilted me back into it. Yeah? Good. Because for all the trash that I talk about pills and hypocrisy, it's better than the alternative. And the therapy part, the talking, it really does help. Hope I'll see you later. Yeah. See you, Sam. You seem a little distant today. Oh, sorry, I, I just have a lot on my mind, I guess. Well, that, um, that kind of is the point of these sessions, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Um, I, um, uh, I keep having this recurring dream of me as a kid, and every time I have it, it goes a little further, but it... But what? It's... It's like my brain's trying to keep me out. It's weird, I... It's like I can't go any further with it, I don't know. It is interesting. Um, hmm. Well, sometimes we're pressed memories can manifest themselves as dreams. They're in our subconscious all the time, even if we have them locked away. Hmm. You know, I'll tell you what, tell me about it. Maybe we can bring it out, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I think I was about four or five maybe, and um, my mom, she used to uh, let me listen to music while I sleep. Um, but as I got older, I realized it was because she didn't want me to hear her and my dad fighting. Do they fight often? I mean, I was little. I, I was, I don't, 
really remember. I mean, there were a few instances where I heard the shouting and the screaming and stuff. But this time, this time was different. Different? Different how? Yeah, and in the dream, they were fighting, they were shouting, and then I, I woke up because I couldn't, I couldn't sleep, and I got out of bed, then I walked down the hall, and then my mind won't let me go any further. It's like my mind's keeping something from me. But I do remember what I heard. I, I, re I remember what I heard. Trevor. What'd you hear? A gunshot. And Doc, I... I think that I might have seen my dad get killed and I think it happened in our house and I think that I've been just having this repressed memory stuff for years trying and now it's 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 I mean this this is this has got to be like breakthrough right this this has got to mean something it has to mean something because now it's starting to come together isn't it Has um <clears throat> has your mother um, ever talked to you about your father's death? No, she she just wants us to remember him the way that we want to, the way that I want to. But I don't. I mean, this has to be breakthrough, right? Like. This has to mean something. It has to mean something because now all these pieces are kind of coming together, right? Right? Trevor, um... Look, sometimes a, a dream is just a dream. I mean, you, you could be having what we call a lucid dream, yeah? And... Which seems very real. No, at the wait, but you, no, you just said that I could have had a repressed memory. Yeah. And uh, but what if I did see my dad get killed? And what if that's why I am the way that I am? And hey, my hey, mind hey, is Trevor, not where it's... Trevor, 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 look. I, I understand your concerns. But we can't jump to conclusions, huh? Not until we have some more information. And when you just... And, um... Our time is up for the day, but, but, but wait, 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 I tell you what, let's do this. If you have this dream again, you talk to me about it, huh? And then we'll figure out our plan of action if and when we get some more information. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yep. Yeah, we will. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Thanks. I'll see you for dinner, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so what's crazy, on our honeymoon, I swear to you, this dude got sunburned so bad. He looked like a hot chili pepper in the pictures. <laughs> he did? <laughs> yes. Can you believe that? <laughs> I yeah, see I... that my wife is reveling in her favorite <laughs> pastime. That's laughing at my expense here. Thank you, honey. I would have brought you one, Trevor, but, um, I don't think it's a good idea to mix alcohol while you're still getting adjusted to your meds. No, I, that's okay. I'm not much of a wine drinker, so it's fine. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you came back. That wine's making you sentimental. <laughs> well, you know, after our time is done here, I don't see any reason why we still couldn't see each other from time to time, you know? And maybe even in time we could get you to come and babysit Alton while Sin and I take a vacation. <laughs> did you just call me Sin? I sure did. He <laughs> hasn't called me that since we first started dating. Somebody's had a little too much wine. My, my mom calls me Trev and my brother. So oh. <laughs> I get it. Wait a minute. What was the name your friends used to call you when we first started dating? Uh, 
What's that um Bobby? No, no. It was Robbie. Bobby, <laughs> it was awful. Yeah, I would question my friendships too if I had a nickname like that. <laughs> well, thank God nobody calls me that anymore. Huh? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> hey, Trevor. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Um, I just got tired, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to bed. So you guys have a good night. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Good okay. night. Good night. He'd be all right. <laughs> He'd be all right. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go upstairs. Well, come on, grab your glass. Yeah. It wasn't a dream. It was a memory. You, and you knew that. You, you lied. You, you killed him. You, it was a memory. Wait, you knew wait, that. And you, wait, 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 wait Trevor, Trevor. You lied to me. You don't understand. You, you killed him. No, you don't no, understand. No, you don't understand. understand. No, you don't understand. You, damn it. You don't understand. You don't understand. Boy, you, boy, you did this. 
Come out, Trevor. I know you in here. I took you in. I treated you like family. What did you do? What did you do? You put my son in danger. You attacked my wife. Well, I don't give a damn about your illness. That's my family! <laughs> you gonna do, huh? You gonna shoot me? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Trevor, put the gun down. <laughs> Mom, no, he, he killed Dad, Mom, he killed Dad. Baby, no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Put, put the gun down. No, Ma, I have to do this for, it's for us, it's for Gavin, it's for Dad. It... Honey, listen to me. Now, the police are here. Any minute now, they're gonna come through this door. Is this what you want them to find? Robbie, she's okay. Go take care of her. No, no. No, mommy. Trevor, listen to me. I didn't want you to know that your, your father suffered from mental illness. Listen, baby, he had, he was bipolar, mildly schizophrenic. No. Dr. No. Weldon was his therapist for a short while. That's how we met him, that's how we know him. And I lied to you. What? No. I'm sorry. No. Baby, it's the truth. It's Baby, it's the truth. Look, your father was good for a while, then he stopped taking his medication. And that night, when you were little, honey, your dad was convinced that he had to kill me. I didn't want the police to take him, so I called Robbie. He killed him. He did it. Baby, it was an accident. He tried to reason with him. He tried to talk to him, but there was nothing he could say. And in the end, honey, he did what he had to do. It was an accident. It was, it was, it was an accident. Baby, I'm sorry. It was, it was an accident. Listen, I'm sorry. But the truth is, is that your dad gave up. Honey, he let it consume him. Are you gonna do the same? Because I'm not the same woman as I was back then, okay? I'm not gonna let anyone be a victim here. Not even you. How many times do you hurt the people you love? Do you damage everything good in your life before you start to deal with it? Dealing with it, it's not meds, it's not therapy, it's acceptance. It's being proactive, it's loving yourself so much that you force yourself to become a better version of yourself every day. I got this. We got this. This is 
the last time that anything like this will ever happen again. <laughs>